Hello, this is Lori, and just a really quick video on how I organize my Digi stuff. I've been asked about it, so wanted to just show you my file structure. On my external hard drive, I have uh, L, Lori's Digi, and then I have a folder in that that says Digi Kits. When you go into that folder, I have stores or designers. I have um, some different miscellaneous things. But the important thing for my newest ones is I've made uh, uh, the newest folder right now that just says new from April. You can see I also have a new beginning in November and the first one when I did this was new to use and organize. But I'm going to show you new from April. So anything that I get um, since April until I sort this through and put them into other places where they belong you can get a, a quick peek at. And when I come in here, anything with a little dash space before it puts it up at the top. So that means that I haven't used it yet. I want to, I want to make sure that I use it and realize that it's new and, and I haven't used it yet. So after I use it, and I've already used this one, I will just get rid of those. And now it puts it down with the rest. And then once I um, am in the mood. I will go into my digi kits and I will go through and put those where they belong. So I know those go to Pickleberry Pop and I can go over to the end of the list and I can take these that go into Pickleberry Pop and just move them over so that I can keep them organized that way. I also wanted to show you that when I'm in here if I were to open a folder, so let's say this Digi Scrap Parade in May, I have pulled all of the papers and all of the elements completely out of all their subfolders. And it's nice because most of the time currently the designers will put their name at the beginning, so you still know who made it if you want to know. And then I keep a folder for alphas, and I put all alphas in there. So if there were multiple alphas, they'd all be in that one folder. And also, if there do happen to be templates that go, that go along with it, I'll have a templates folder. And I can open that and sort through. So when I'm pulling these elements onto a page, say I want just a bunch of papers to pull over. I can go to details. I can click type. And all these JPEG images, I'm going to keep scrolling down, and here's where the JPEGs end. So I can use my shift key and grab them, and then I can just drag and drop them right over into my, my photos area on my layout. And then once I'm done, and so you can see with the icons, it's all the papers. And then I can go back to details, and I can click type, and now all the pings are at the top. So when I go look, my papers are all down at the bottom out of the way, and my pings are up at the top so that I can pull elements as I, as I need them. As far as um, other looking at uh, exactly how I organize certain things, I'm going to go back out of folder, and I'll go into a store. So say I go into Scrap Orchard, when I'm in there, again, these are ones that I've gotten that I hadn't, maybe, maybe I haven't used yet, and I want to, so I put them at the beginning. But then I have designer names, and I have the kit name. And as we go through, you can see that all of the ones by the same designer are clustered together, as long as I spell it correctly and I have a space dash space so that it puts all of those together. So if I want to see somebody particular, I can find it uh, pretty easily in some sort of alphabetical order. So um, you can see here, when I started, I was doing the name of the folder, Scrap Orchard SO, and then the name, and I decided I didn't like that method because I was already in the Scrap Orchard folder. I just haven't gone through all the way and, and uh, taken care of them. One other quick thing that I want to show you is if I go into a certain designer, so let's say, say I go in here, so again, I've got them all labeled according to the designer, so easy to find. And if I go in, I was looking for one that might have 
um, a, su a different subfolder in it. But I try really hard to keep my subfolders to a minimum, and I just have all my papers and elements and previews. So you can see this one I might have gotten a freebie, and I don't necessarily have the kit that it goes with. If I did have the kit, these wouldn't be in their own folder. They would be in uh, where they belong. So that's basically how I organize things. Hopefully that helps.